This section is going to be talking all about polynomial and rational inequalities. Now before we get into the new stuff, um, we need to go back and we need to kind of review just a little bit of things that we're supposed to already be aware of coming into this, but sometimes it's nice just to go back over it again. What if we had an equation that looked like this, there, or an inequality I should say, x minus 5 is less than 0. Well, that means uh, we would have to move our 5 over to the other side to get x is less than positive 5. Now, if you'll remember, this was a whole bunch of things because there are a lot of numbers that are less than 5. So we could actually look at that on a number line and if, um, let's say here's 0 and here's 5, all of the things that are less than 5 would start at 5 and go to the left. Now also we need to remember about our parentheses and our brackets. Remember if it's the endpoint is included then we use a bracket. If it is not included then we use a parenthesis. So in this case we're going to use a parenthesis because that's just a less than, there's no equality in there. Then also, do you remember that we can change, uh, rewrite this into um, interval notation? And we've been doing that quite a lot with domain um, in, in some of your other lessons. But uh, just to refresh really quickly, we would, we would read from the left to the right. So we would start out here at negative infinity. And that always gets a parenthesis. And the, it, all of our answers, or all these numbers, would go all the way up to 5, but not including 5. So that would get a parenthesis also. So just kind of a, a little quick refresh there. Now, here we have another problem, though. This one says negative x plus 7 is less than 0. So here, if we move our 7 over to the other side, we have negative x less than negative 7. Now we need to divide by negative 1 or multiply by negative 1 either way in order to get uh, the x by itself. So that would be x is greater than 7. Don't forget whenever you're working with inequalities, if you multiply or divide by a negative number, you have to flip the inequality symbol over. Okay, now if we were going to look at that on our number line, then let's say here's 0 and over here is 7. All of the x's or all of the numbers that are bigger than 7 would start at 7 and go to the right. Now 7 itself would not be included because there's no equality there. So if we were going to write this in interval notation, we would start at 7 with a parenthesis and we would use all of the numbers going up to infinity. All right, so this is what we should already be aware of. In the next lesson, we're going to learn how to start graphing polynomial inequalities.